Here's a kind of a U-shaped tube attached to a gas tap, so the gas is being pushed in. And on the other end, it's just open to atmosphere. So water is inside this tube, density of 1000. Heights on both sides is shown. This is a manometer, what we call it, one way to measure pressure. Atmospheric pressure is 101. What is the pressure from the gas tap? So if you ever have some kind of pressure in the measure, just get a curved tube, fill it with water or mercury, and you can figure out what the pressure is. But how do we start though? First, you need to understand how these things work. So why does the water stack up so high on this side? You see the water come up so high, but on this side, the water only down here. Leh. That's because there is some kind of, let's call this a force. So on the left side, there's some kind of force pushing down on the left. And on the right side, there's some kind of force pushing down on the right. And the forces are balanced. That's why these two are kind of just, the water level is just chilling there. Lah. There's no change. So I'm going to write that down as the first fact. So if this whole system is in equilibrium, then the left side force equal to the right side force. Okay, then we think about how does force relate to pressure. Uh, oh, wait a second. If you have these tubes, okay, and you need to think of pressure is force per unit area. Area is area of these pipes. Fortunately, they are the same all the way. So force, you can rewrite as pressure time area. So on the left side, you have some pressure coming in on the left side times the area. On the right side, also a pressure, some different value, but the same area. Okay, la, area same, we just put black color. Some parts of the question, the area is different, but for now it's the same. La. Okay, so P times A, P times A, P can be, uh, A can be cancelled out. So end of the day, we can conclude this. Whatever pressure is on this side, let me label inside here, P on the left side, then we can erase the force already. Whatever pressure is on this side of the tube must be the same as all the pressure on the right side of the tube, above this whole section. How do I label? Ah, all this thing. Pressure on the right side. Okay, so remember, we kind of like cut the middle point. Lah. Okay. Mm. And we can also cut off at this point because pressure below that is the same because it's just water and water on both sides. But above that, then you have different stuff ready. So you need to consider the pressure of all that. Okay, let's add up the stuff. On the left side, we have the pressure we want to find. Let's just, just call it pressure from gas. Equals to everything on the right side. So the liquid will contribute some pressure. Pressure from liquid. And pressure from... Hmm, here is pressure of liquid. But also you are open to atmosphere. So atmosphere also pressing down on the right side. So this is pressure of atmosphere. I'm just going to put ATM. There. Now with this, then we can only submit all our values to do calculation. Okay. Let us continue. I'm going to wrap off all this extra thing. Pressure of gas. Ah. Now we can sub in. Pressure of gas, we don't know. We need to find that. Pressure of liquid. Hmm. This column of liquid can be calculated by rho g h. But what is the rho g h? Uh, right here first. Lah. Rho g h. Atmospheric pressure is given to us down there. Ah, this one. 101 kPa. So let's just write it down first. 101 kilopascal. Now we need to plug in more stuff. So density of the water, I mean the liquid on this side is water. I'm going to switch everything to blue color. Lah. So 1000 kg per meter, 9.81. And how high is the column of water? Remember we are using this level as our reference point. Because nah? below that, it's all the same. Just water, water, left and right. But here we want to look at what is this height. So you need to find out what is this height. That's going to be 31.4 minus 10.2. So what is that? Ah? Looks like it's going to be 21.2 cm. So plug that in here. 21.2 oh, centi oh, must convert to meter. Lastly, your 101 kilopascal convert to SI unit. So times 10 to the 3 pascal. There we go. So with that in the end, you should get a value of 103 kilopascal okay 
So then we can go and check, see whether got answer or not. Down here. 103, 103, 102. Ooh, very close. Best answer is 103 for this case. Alright, so that's how you can find this thing. Lah. Just know that if you look at the left side of this YouTube and the right side of the YouTube, everything is pressing down on them, exerting a force. The gas, the water, everyone is pressing on you. But you can uh, cancel out the area. So you, instead of thinking about forces, now you think about pressure. Pressure on the left side of this arm should be the same as pressure on the right side of the arm, above the line. Below the line, not need to consider, like, it's the same height, same water, same time. So we just assume they cancel out. Okay, so that's all for this question. Oh, hopefully that was helpful in helping you understand a little bit how to do YouTube question. But uh, that's all for this question. I'll see you in the next video.